Right, okay, so we're talking lead generation, and we're actually today going to be talking about what happens after you've generated the lead online, and just discussing how you can make those sort of bad leads good, the leads that your sales guys are coming to you with and saying, these are rubbish, we can't get hold of them. Um, just as an example, we had a client where we were generating some leads for um, over a few months. Um, we were generating a lot of leads at a good price, and they didn't convert any of them to sale, and they and they got hold of very few of them. Um, so we stopped working with that that client, unfortunately. Um, but we worked with one of their competitors, uh, same industry, same service. The landing page was exactly the same, apart from the branding, because the offering was was pretty much identical. Uh, and then the new client were, uh, you know, it's gone down a storm with them. Uh, and a lot of it was down to this process, so the post lead generation process. So um, sometimes it's not all down to you as a as a marketer. Um, the sales guys have got to be held accountable as well, so they've got to kind of react uh, and get on these leads. So uh, making bad leads good. Uh, a minute older, a minute colder. So how long is it taking your sales team or you, if it's if it's you doing it, to contact that lead? So when someone's made a quote request. How quickly are you getting back to that person? So if you're in a crowded marketplace um, and you've done, you haven't nurtured that person to the quote, so you're, this is their first contact with you at the quoting stage, and um, why, why would they wait? If they've spoke to a competitor and they've built a good relationship over the phone, why would they answer your call? So get in there first, build that relationship if you can, um, and then you'll obviously experience better results. So, and, and if you are leaving a voicemail, is it exciting or are you just saying, hi, this is Dave from Joe Blogs Limited, got your web inquiry, uh, can you call me back on XYZ phone number? Or are you saying, hi, it's Dave from Joe Blogs Limited, um, got some really exciting news about your quote request, I'm looking forward to speaking to you, um, is there a good time for me to call? Um, you can get me on my email address, it's alex at Joe Blogs Limited, uh, or if you can call the office on XYZ phone number. Just sounds more exciting uh, rather than just your generic. You could stand out if, um, again, if they've been roaming around and they've got competitors um, leaving voicemails as well. Yeah, so what is your, your follow-up routine as well? Do you just, does your sales team just try it once, twice, three times? Uh, three times, um, I'd say it's dead at that point if you've had no answer. If you've left really good voicemails, uh, it's probably gone. But if you do have... Uh, you can resurrect those dead leads because you know people are busy or, or whatever it is um, uh, with an automated email sequence so you could just have basically um, one or maybe two emails uh, max just saying uh, just following up from your quote request try to get hold of you is there a good time to call or uh, could you call the office on XYZ phone number so a lot of the reasons are because I don't know if you do it as well if I get a, a phone call on my phone from a number I don't recognize. I Google it straight away um, and some, I don't answer it. So um, that could be a reason. So to combat this as well on your lead confirmation, uh, thank you page, put your phone number, ask them to expect a call from this number. Um, so yeah, just a few things. There's quite a lot of things you can do if uh, if your sales team are saying these are bad leads, if you're generating them in, getting really downhearted that they're not converting to sales. So give those things a try and uh, let us know if uh, any of it's worked for you. Cheers.